Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. thought this might be an interesting um, video for people to see. This is a striker I've done, but um, I'm going to anneal the tine. Um, you can already see I, blew, I have annealed it once before. I've actually done this one several times, but I want to try and get down more deeper down into here with this you don't want the strike face to get hot at all because it'll soften it up and i use my propane torch for this um these ones are really good they're not too bad i see it's going to be a little bit difficult because it's down low and these torches tend to when you put them down low like that they tend to turn off so we'll see how we go but what i do to stop the um strike face from getting soft is i place it in some water so just get a little i've got a little c clamp and just put it in there so that it's all even and that so that just where you can get it so that it'll it'll get all there where I want it to soften up and but the strike plate is actually in the water because the that torch will not go down the heat will not go down into the water and then it's just a matter of running it does make a bit of noise the torch over the running it over the um part you want want to soften as I said that's just because the gas is blowing it out I didn't think about this very well. well um, it needs to go up a bit. What I'll do. Now that'll be well and truly hot. As you can see, there's steam coming off the water. Now, that, you can actually see the blue colour come, has gone a little bit deeper. I didn't get it all the way as deep as I wanted to, but it's, it's really hard to angle it up because I don't want it to go down into that strike plate too deeply. Because uh, if I bring it up any further, the time to get to 
right to that time part where the transition from the time into the into the main part of the striker it'll um I was I, I will risk annealing that is still bloody hot um annealing the um going down into the strike plate because it probably wouldn't matter too much down this end of the strike plate um because you mainly strike along here i i did i just don't want to risk annealing into it because yeah it just it's just no good it'll it, all it does is end up you end up softening it and it doesn't matter you probably noticed i did give the um back end of this part of the striker a good lick with the with the flame as well back part doesn't matter at all because it it won't travel through the water because the water keeps it keep it keeps it cool um you, it doesn't take that long you can you can usually leave it about uh i usually let it let it, let it air dry uh, air cool which is a normalization cycle um and once it's safe to touch um it, it it's it's soft like it, it, it'd be quite soft you could probably file that and you'd be able to get a file to bite into it whereas the the strike plate is as hard as still as hard as anything but um i won't i won't won't um I won't do it that long. Um, we'll sit here for a minute or two longer, let it um, let it cool down a little bit longer, and then um, I'll drop it into the water. Let it let it um, let it cool down that way because um, yeah, otherwise this video will be too long. But um, yeah, that'll be all. It shouldn't be too bad because you only have to let it normalise out a little bit, but that'll be still too hot to touch I, that's called what that what we call black metal and that's the most dangerous metal because it doesn't look hot but it is um yeah hideously hot usually so yeah but um you can still see bubbles all along there so yeah, it's still hot what i'll do actually is pause and let it cool down for a while and then i'll come back Okay, I'm back. It's been a little while now. Just undo that. Let go back in the water. Dry it off because these high carbon steel, as soon as, as soon as it gets wet, they start rusting. You don't want that. Now that should be all nice and soft and you can see the definite blue line there that's annealed all that softened all that time. I'll just get the water out of the way. steel and just to show that I didn't obviously didn't upset the strike plate because it's still sparking perfectly well even up here well, this is that right up the tine area granted it's not sparking as well so Obviously, it's a bit softer up here, but you obviously strike along there more than anything else. So I could probably put it in water up to there and just anneal that whole section if I really, really wanted to and not worry about it looking at it now. Because what I'm worried about is dropping it and snapping the time off here but that is the process that I use to anneal these tines I just use my propane gas torch 
Apparently it can get up to about 1300 degrees. I know I can get these to red hot, no problems whatsoever. Um, these thin bits, really easy, and it doesn't take long to get that blue color up. But I thought that'd be interesting process just to go through the process of um of of showing you how i do it um yeah it's pretty easy doing and you can do that on any any bits that you want to soften up so just isolate the bits you don't want to um that you want to keep hard isolate them in water and then yeah lick whatever you whatever else with the torch and yeah, it'll it'll certainly soften them up, and I I, I really like the idea of it to get the colour back in because I love this blue blue colour once you do it. But after you put it on the um, wire wheel, that that colour goes away, and that's why I, I I do this process several times. So I'll I'll anneal it. I'll take it out of the quench tank. I'll anneal it straight away because I do a thorough quench and then I'll anneal it before I do any grinding or, or wire wheeling because I don't want to take the pro, uh, the risk of snapping a tine. I'll anneal it and then I'll um, go and do all my grind work on it. But then obviously once you put it on the wire wheel, all this coloration goes away. Then I'll come back and put it in the, in the water and anneal it again to get the coloration back. Anyway, hope that was interesting. Yeah, that's how I anneal or and put colour back into my strikers. Thanks for watching.